साइंस अनलाइक ह्यूमन ऑक्टोपसिस डोंट हैव अ कॉन्स्टेंट अवेयरनेस ऑफ देर आर्म्स लोकेशन देर वॉल नॉट साइज ब्रेन सिंपली कांट कीप ट्रैक ऑफ वट देर एट आर्म्स आर डूइंग सो हाउ कम दे डोंट गेट ऑल थैंगल्ड अप इट्स अ मिस्टरी दैट इज लॉन्ग बैफल्ड साइंटिस्ट बट इट सीम्स रिसर्चर्स इन जरूसलम मे हैव फैन दी आंसर दी आर्म्स दम सर्वस कंट्रोल दर ओन मूवमेंट If you chop off an octopus arm it'll keep on moving for more than an hour grabbing and latching on to things with its suckers. The researchers placed various amputated octopus limbs in water to see what would happen. The tests showed that the arms would not latch on to other severed limbs. The only time an amputated arm grabbed hold of another was when the skin had been peeled off. We saw that the amputated arm grabbed the flesh, the peeled arm as any other item, but when we stretched the skin over plastic discs the amputated arm didn't didn't grab it, it sim- the, the sucker simply won't respond to the skin the tests seem to suggest there's a chemical detection capacity built into the rims of the suckers to recognize octopus skin and inhibit attachment a useful trait bearing in mind that the sea creature is cannibalistic an octopus would want maybe to grab the skin of another octopus in order to in order to catch it and eat it but it doesn't want its own arms to grab each other so this is a magnificent and, and a brilliant solution of nature to a potentially very complicated problem the octopus instead of having to calculate and compute when and where its arms touch each other it seems simply avoids grabbing each other ahead of time in first place Researchers hope this self-recognition mechanism will help develop bio-inspired robots that could be used for medical procedures or in search and rescue missions that require flexible movement and a need to distinguish between different surfaces.